Ten years ago, the African Youth Charter was adopted by African heads of states and government to support national policies, programs, and actions in favor of youth development. 2006 was the year when the rights of all young people were recognized and set in a binding legal document that will foster and enable the safe environment filled with opportunities and growth for our generation. They said yes. They said yes to youth employment, yes to good health, yes to peace and security, and youth political governance participation. But those yeses, those yeses only led to 36 member states ratifying the Charter, 42 member states merely signing the Charter, and three member states not even having signed it. In my moment of excitement and hope for a better future, I watched 10 years pass by. And yet, I am still unemployed. I am still hungry. I am still exposed to the HIV epidemic. And I am still uneducated. But wait! Some African countries the African Union Commission and the different international agencies have initiated quality education initiatives. They have invested in youth leadership and development, youth entrepreneurship training, youth participation in policy making. They have invested in health programs. So something is being done. Yes, something has been done but more still needs to be done. The African Youth Charter stated that Africa's greatest resource is its youth population and through their active and full participation, Africa can summon the difficulties that lie ahead. Active and full participation has not been fulfilled. If many other young people are still not aware of their rights, cannot access quality education and healthcare, do not have any job prospects, and if they are exposed to conflict, then more still needs to be done. Imagine Africa, imagine a place with a young, skilled, educated and healthy population positively contributing to society. That is the Africa we want to be part of. That is the Africa we want to see. Corruption, misappropriation of funds, conflict, Promises that are never fulfilled. Many young people deprived and excluded in decision making. Without domestication and implementation of the youth charter, young people are greatly disadvantaged. Their African dreams die unfulfilled. This is a call to action. Youth, national governments, the African Union, the sub-regional organizations, to cry out for Ubuntu, to collaborate and work together with compassion, with the spirit of dedication and responsibility to promote and protect child and youth rights.